Hi everyone, welcome back to Mojo's Money. My name is Lacey and today we have our cash stuffing for the second paycheck of September 2022. Had to think for a second about <laughs> what month it was. So I've got my sinking funds binder and I also have these savings challenges that you guys might have seen from Jordan Budgets that I laminated myself to use. Um, this one was a little freebie. Uh, I also kind of wanted to work on this savings challenge so we'll see how that goes. So for now, let us get out my little spreadsheet and talk about what's going in my sinking funds today. All right, so up at the top we have our emergency fund is going to be stuffed with $225. Um, actually, first of all, let's talk about how much cash we have total, $518, which is way more than we did for the first paycheck of September, $379, because thankfully my... Uh, my gas bill and my electric bill were both uh, less than I thought they were going to be, so I had a little bit of extra cash show up. And then I also sold some old computer parts. Uh, a while back I had upgraded my computer. I don't know if y'all remember that, but I sold the old parts to sellgpu.com. So if you guys have old computer parts, um, they will buy them from you. And they will even send you a box for free to put them in to send it to them. So anyways, cool stuff. I got about $80 for selling my old computer parts, um, and I think I found around the same amount, maybe $60-ish, from my bills being a little bit less than I had originally budgeted for. So that's awesome. So I have $518 to work with today. Emergency fund is getting $225, and that's going to go in the um, 100 envelope savings challenge. Then the new car is getting $25. Orlando Trips getting 10, Wacom Tablet is going to get 1, a Mortgage Fund is getting $25, and whenever I do a bill exchange at the end of this, um, yes, at the end of this month, yes, <laughs> all of the money from the Mortgage Fund is going to the bank because, you guys, it's already the third quarter end of um, 2022. That's pretty crazy. Then the new Fridge Fund's getting 11 Christmas, I'm going to put $25 in today, and then I'm going to stop cold turkey on the Christmas fund. I've been just trickling money in um, and I just going to go ahead and put 25 in and then I'm going to stop putting money in it because I wanted to start Christmas shopping and it was getting kind of crazy to balance like what's going in versus what's coming out and transferring from the savings account and blah blah blah. So that's happening. And then the seed next fund is getting zero dollars. I'm going to delete this fund off the spreadsheet um, starting in October so that'll be going away because we already bought them and we're enjoying them immensely um, investment property is getting 170 washer dryer is getting five bedroom furniture is getting one and home security is getting 10 veterinaries getting 10 there was my cash breakdown and then at the bottom we have our totals of note on here I moved this $14 that was from the Steam Deck fund that was remaining after our purchases to the emergency fund. So we have $2,030 in the bank. Um, we didn't have to use any, yay. And then the um, 100 envelope savings challenge box is what that box means. That means after we have this $25, we will have $1,060 in the Christmas fund and that's gonna be our max. $1,000 was our goal. And I just recently bought some stocking stuffers on the Elf Fall sale that was 40% off <laughs> for $60. So. That's why I wanted it to be 60. And then I can go take that 60 to the bank and then all the Christmas money will be in the bank. So that's exciting. And then um, the mortgage fund is going to be 150. So yay, um, that's gonna be our final number before we go and take that and put it in with the mortgage. So let's zoom back out. Here we are. Let me put this away and we will get our little guys out, our little envelopes, our binder out. And here we go. So first we have new car. So I want to get this new car challenge. So with these envelopes, if this was a regular, it would fit in there easily, but like because I laminated it, it doesn't fit in there easily. So I'm just gonna have to put it in front or behind. And let's see, our goal for a new car was $24,000. So let me write on this what our goal is. New car, new car. Let's see if I can get a green to match this green tracker. Our amount to save was $24,000. These are my Visa Vis Expo markers that are wet erase. 
So that means there's one, two, three, four, five times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 35 cards. Okay, we're about to use our friendly calculator. So we have 24,000 divided by 35 cars. So that means each car, okay, that's very specific, is $686 around about. $686. So I do not have that much in that account yet. But whenever it is, I will color in a car and it will be very satisfying <laughs> to do so. It will motivate me to continue. I'm hoping these little guys are supposed to be fun and motivational. I'm kind of sealing the edges. This was just the self-adhesive laminate, not actual thermal laminate. You know what I need? A black piece of these, because we are about to also write on that, on our trackers. How's everyone's uh, week been going? It is Friday, November the, November, no, no, no. Friday, September the 16th. And we are putting $25 in the new car fund, woo. Twenty and five. All right, so let's count it up. We have fifty, one hundred, fifty, two hundred, fifty, three hundred, fifty, four hundred, four, twenty, forty, fifty, fifty five, sixty, four hundred and sixty dollars. We're close to that uh, six eighty six, but not quite. So let me put this back in here. And then I'll mark down what we are putting in here on the tracker. Okay, we only got 16, I need 25 dollars. Okay, and then this guy, we're just gonna put him behind the thing, okay. So Orlando trip, let's put these out the way. Orlando trip is getting $10, which we only put $1 in it last time, so that's awesome. Really, every category is getting more than they got last time, so that is great. Adding 10. So let's add it up. We have 100, 200 in the bank, 250, 260, 265, 266. Welcome Tablet Fund. I have upgraded my computer and that's why this fund got really small um, so that it could handle a tablet like that. And so I'm just very slowly trickling this in to actually get the drawing tablet because mine is functioning okay um, for the time being. So that means we have 20 and $1 right now. These tablets are really pricey. Um, they're about $1,200. So it's just, it's gonna be a distant kind of a low priority type of thing, but eventually I do want to do it. The mortgage fund my one of my favorites I love paying down my mortgage I cannot wait to give you guys an update video on how much money is currently in there it's getting 25 today so that means we currently have 50 100 120 140 145 150 Bridge fund is getting eleven dollars. There's ten and eleven. Oh, messing up my stacks. So let's count it up. We have five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred in the bank. Nope, there's another hundred in there hiding. <laughs> five hundred. 600, 700, 800 in the bank. 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 
43, 44, 45, and 46. Excuse me, $846. Well, I think that this is the one that we are the closest to um, achieving on our goals. Although I don't have a fun, colorable trucker for the fridge, unfortunately. Christmas fund is getting 25. Twenty and five. Here we go. So that means we have one thousand in the bank. Twenty, forty, fifty, fifty-five, and sixty. And then when I do my bill exchange, I'm gonna take that sixty and put it in the bank to reimburse myself for the stocking stuffers that I bought already. I know it's September, I'm just they'll keep, you know. Makeup brushes, you know, they'll keep forever, so. And then investment, um, it is getting $5 in the actual envelope. And then the other 165 are going to the challenge. So let me see, there's a five. So that means we currently have 20, 30, and five. washer dryer okay so let's see this little guy the washer dryer fund is two thousand dollars is what I want so let me write this on here oh no let's get a red marker total is two thousand so we have one two three times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right trusty calculator 2,000 divided by 30, uh, 30 little washing machines, I mean. So that means $67 is one, um, one washer or dryer, which I guess these are, this could be either one. They have a little drawer, so it makes me think they're washers. <laughs> and alas, we can't color another one of these either. It's so sad. <laughs> But it is going to get $5 into the envelope. Oops. Alrighty, we have $20, 30 35 $36 in here. We're halfway to being able to color in a dryer and or washer. gonna put this little guy behind it bedroom furniture is getting a dollar it's definitely like one of the lowest priorities but I wanted to give it something so they can keep building up um, oops I think you would be surprised you know how quickly just one dollar each paycheck adds up um, over the course of the year so we have 20 and 1 going to bedroom furniture and if I had some extra boom right there my 100 envelope savings challenge is still my biggest priority because I want to build my sinking, uh, not my sinking, my sinking funds are a lower priority than building my um, emergency fund currently. Just because I want my family to be safe and secure in case of emergency. Home security is going to get 10 today. We have 20, 40, 50, and 1. I have been listening to some other YouTubers who are having the same problem as me uh, about the vis a -vis sweater races transferring. I guess they're not 100% dry by the time I put them back in the envelope. So I guess I need to make sure they're like super dry before I <laughs> um, put it in the envelope and who knows. 
I'm not sure why they're doing that. Veterinary is also getting $10. Whoops, took out the tag. And the goal for this one is only 150 so it will be here before we know it. So now we have $30 in this fund. Alright, and so then our last one is the um, Jordan Budgets $1,000 um, Savings Challenge in here. And I did trim this one down enough, so even though it's laminated, to get it to fit in the thing, although it's a little bit uh, worse for the wear because of it. But it's getting $165, so let's do that. 50, 100, 150. 160, 165. Okay, let's sort that into here. Ooh. So we're getting close, you guys. Getting very close. Let's see how much we have in there right now. So we have 100, 200, 300 in the bank. Then we have 50, 100, 50, 200. 50, 300. So that's a total of 600. 6, 20, 40, 650, 660, 65, 66, 67, 68, 668 dollars. Woo! And let's get our little orange marker out. And color. $165 on this little um, tracker. So, let me get my calculator out again just to make sure I don't make any errors. $165 minus, let's see, there's a 30. Minus another 30. then there's another 30 so then here's a 25 and then there's 50 left so two more 25s will have it okay now it's looking like a much more full trucker. So let's see, just for curiosity's sake, we have $1,000 for the challenge, minus 668. We have $332 left, yay. And that follows because there's only two ones left. Okay, let's see if I can get this back in the envelope. I always struggle. There we go. Okay, and then this little guy is going to be a like Halloween candy fund or Halloween party, whatever we want to do. Um, fund is what I'm going to mean it for. It came with my other challenges as a Jordan Budgets freebie. I don't have an envelope for him. Oh, I want you guys to say hi to Larry. My little Larrys, they ended up in <laughs> in the back of the thing. Um, Larry's from Hands and Bands. Please check her out if you are not already subscribed to her. Um, she's just makes me laugh every single time she has a video. I love watching her content. Um, it brings me great joy. But anyways, I have an envelope for him, so I need to get an envelope. I think I might have an extra lying around somewhere. But whenever it is the end of the month and I'm doing my penny challenge, I am going to try to find some extra money in the budget that's left over to put in this guy, so stay tuned. We'll just put him in the bag for now. He can hang out with Larry in the back where the VIPs are. If I can close it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there's still money. If you, as you can see up here, all this money is going to be going in my 100 envelope savings challenge um, box. So stay tuned for that um, in my next video. Everyone, thank you so much for joining me for this cash stuffing. Um, if you like this type of content, please be sure to number one, like the video. 
Number two, say hi to me in the comments. And number three, subscribe to my channel. And thank you all so much for joining me. Have a great day. Bye.